All right, quick update. So the eggs are finishing up. So the way I use do eggs in the Instant Pot is I have it get up to pressure, cook for a minute, and then I just let it sit in the and decompress naturally um, for about eight or nine minutes. And then I dump some cold water over them so they don't go overcooked. Anyway, that makes perfect hard boiled eggs, by the way. Anyway, you can see the, the buttons up on the Instant Pot, which means it's still pressurized. It's turned off. It's just kind of in warming mode. You probably can't see it. I don't know, that's kind of hard to see on the video, but the, it's been um, just basically in keep warm mode for about six minutes. So it's got a couple more to go before I take the eggs out. Fridge is going on. Oh, if you're wondering, I have the fridge set to maximum, so it's been running this whole time. Um, I can't keep it like that for too long because everything in the fridge part will freeze. But I wanted to max it out. Anyway, so while the fridge is running, it uses about 70 watts. And the Instant Pot's not really using anything right now. It's just sitting there. Um, the wattage on the Montec got down to about 93% uh, by the time the eggs were done. Um, or the Instant Pot was done being on high. It pulls about 600 to 700 watts when it's going. Um, but you can see it's already charging back up. It's at 250 watts in on the three panels. And uh, it's doing pretty good. I do have one more solar panel, but it's not, it's not one of these. It's just a old 100 watt panel. Um, anyway, these seem to be doing great, just exactly like I had hoped. So anyway, so that's an update from here. Hopefully that tells you how the Montec is doing. So far, super satisfied, um, doing exactly what I want. The only thing I wish, and I would probably buy this, is if they came out with one that's about double the power. Something in the neighborhood of 2,000 watts on the inverter, maybe double the battery. I would probably buy that. Um, there's a few things that I'd like to be able to run with this that I can't. Um, I still need to test my air conditioner in the road truck because uh, that'll be nice to be able to put three panels out, run the air conditioner, see if I could run it all day on a hot day and and uh, keep the van cool. But that's a test for the, another day. Anyway, uh, shout out to Hobotech. Uh, thanks for your reviews. I uh, wouldn't have found this stuff if it wasn't for you. Um, anyway, talk to you guys later.